Hi, I'm Mark with NorthshoreCommercialDoor.com. Today we're going to do a product introduction, and our product today is made by Keystone Head Off. Great people out there in uh, Texas. The part number for the product we're going to talk about today is an ER294 1KA. And what it is, it's a receiver, but not only is it a receiver, it's a uh, high potency receiver, meaning that it has a lot of range to it. When you get it, it's going to come in this nice little white box. I'll open this up and we'll take it out and take a look at it for you. Childproof box, so I'm having trouble opening it. Look at that. Open. Okay, what's going to come in here is you're going to have the receiver, bird's nest full of wires up here, and a green wire coming out of the bottom. It's going to come with a little screwdriver, some extra screws to mount it with. And these are the most important things. These are the directions. So when you get this thing, first thing I want you to do is open up the directions and read them. They're going to tell you step by step how you're going to put this thing together and make it work. Now the significance of all these wires, as I said earlier, the green wire is an antenna. This green wire is the uh, antenna that will accept the signal from the radio control. Now, this bird's nest of wires up here, um, you won't use all of those. This radio set is designed to work on multiple input voltages, 12 to 24 volts AC and DC, and 110 volts AC. So each one of these wires is going to have its own uh, color code and the directions are going to tell you which wires you use for which voltage. So it's extremely uh, versatile in how it works. You don't have to put step up transformers or step down transformers. You should be able to put this right to work. It sets uh, using dip switches. If you saw me remove that, but there's a little trap door here. You look inside, there will be your dip switches. This is what you will do your uh, tuning with. The uh, unique feature that this also has is when a garage door radio control work works, it, radio antenna receives the wire, or the wire receives the signal and it closes a relay in the radio control. That control relay closes Omen momentarily. For some equipment, you may need that relay to stay closed longer. And that's where this little screwdriver that comes with it comes in handy. And that's where you'll need to spend some time with the directions. But you can change the length of time that the relay is held in. So it'll give you the ability to use this not only on a garage door opener, but a gate. There's all kinds of other uses that you can use this for. Now, as I said earlier in the conversation, it's a long range piece of equipment. It runs on 433.92 megahertz. And in the US, most radio controls run below 390 megahertz. So they've set this up to run on a megahertz, which is up and above the clutter that you'll normally find in a in a big community. That's partially the reason it gets such long distance. Now, the directions for this and the advertisements are going to tout this as getting uh, 800, 900, 1,000, 1,500 feet. Radio controls do funny things, but what they're saying is in a clear sight path, meaning you're looking from this antenna to wherever the transmitter is, uh, no questions asked, you should get about a thousand feet. Now don't, don't, don't try to send that radio control through a big oak tree or a bush or a rock or a, uh, you know, a forest. It's got to be a clear sight line. And uh, sometimes you can uh, change that sight line by where you mount the radio set. Also, the radio set has a P connector on top of here. So if you want to mount this control inside of a gate control, which is steel, then you can 
attach a piece of conduit, not conduit, but a P connector, which is nothing more than cable TV uh, cabling. And we sell a whip antenna for this. You can drill a hole in the cabinet for the gate operator and mount the antenna outside of the box. If you wanted to dig a hole and put a mast up, you can put the antenna at the top of the mast. So keep this in mind when you're installing it. And if you want to get the maximum uh, distance that this will put out, put it high and make sure you keep a clear sight line to it. It's really, uh, it's really neat. We sell hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these and have so for 10, 12 years now. This is my go-to, it's one of my personal favorites because I sell them, never hear from the people again. Everybody's happy with it. So we've got them, come and get them, you'll like them. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video from NorthShoreCommercialDoor.com. Please subscribe to our channel so we can continue to make content like this. Thank you.